chatted with a guy by the name of John Breslin uh, and said, you know, this could be really big. Why don't we uh, create a general site for the general public and create more of these boards, uh, just discussion boards, and uh, we'll call it boards.ie because I'm not very imaginative about names. We found that we hit a nerve with it. Here we are today with 700 forums. And, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to me. I was working in an office job and I needed to find a way to kill time, so he introduced me to boards. Um, to just kill time, basically. <laughs> I was messing around for a long time on, um, on boards, not taking it completely like, seriously. You know, I was a member, you know, just reading and that kind of thing, lurking, basically. Um, and then after a while, uh, I put forward the motion that we should have a forum for puzzles and quizzes. And so I'd met Tom a few times, so Tom liked the idea. Um, the whole members liked the idea, and I became the moderator of that, and that was the first time I became a moderator then. Four or five years ago when I was in college, I, uh, and I just put around the internet and I found Borsa.ie. It's like, oh, this is like an Irish community here and it was pretty small at the time, but it's grown. It's grown. I got involved because I pretty much wanted to talk about football and found the soccer forum, got involved there. I became the moderator of that and then other opportunities came up where they needed a moderator for certain areas and I had interest in that, so I put my name forward and I said, yeah, go, go ahead and take them under your wing. Okay, just maybe just to talk a little bit about moderators. So if you can explain a little what is a moderator and, and, and what, what do they do? A moderator is a user who has volunteered to take a, uh, care of an area. Um, so we have a, a very big site and we uh, need people to help us to uh, clean up and to promote various bits and pieces and uh, keep the rowdies quiet and let people you know, talk and, and express themselves. Um, and they volunteer for this, they're, they're not paid as such. Uh, there's about 700 of them, I think. Well, what do you see as sort of the importance of what boards uh, does within the community um, in Ireland? It gives us a place to talk. Uh, I mean, that seems to be very important to Irish people and it's very important to me. Uh, we talk about things that are serious in some forms and things that are not serious in other forms. We have a lot of different groups that are spinning off now of, of, out of boards. Uh, people who are meeting on boards, you know, the athletics people, the cycling, the drama, the, the soccer. People meeting in the real world, doing the real world thing, having met online. And that makes a real world difference. That's, a, you know, that's having an impact. I got started with the drama group because I saw the thread on boards. They were looking for members. Um, so I turned up for the first night and there was five people there. We had no workshops, we had no idea what we were doing, so uh, we did an improv by reading off the Evening Herald. <laughs> um, met downstairs in the pub, and, and then after that the forum got kick-started. Um, the five members now have gone on to become committee members. Tonight's our workshop. We're there. We do them every Tuesday. And we come in and we play a lot of theatre games. We use these exercises so we get over stage fright. We're not shy anymore um, and we build up trust together. We're the only group of our kind in Ireland now that have been set up like this, that have an open door policy to everyone every week. When we first started with five of us, we were going, God, what will we do when there's 20 people in here? It'll be brilliant. We had our, our first production worked out and we were wondering, will we have enough people to actually put it on with the backstage crew and everything? And now it's reached 70 people, that it's, um, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> chatting about football and, and then someone came up with the idea of we're all sitting here talking about football, why don't we go out and play it? I think eventually after three or four weeks we had, I don't know, something like 25 or 26 lads had come down and said yeah, they'd give it a go. So the team was formed and I was the manager and we had our own forum so it was kind of the natural choice to look after that. It's great to put names to fa face to names. You know, you'd see fellas that you'd probably be speaking to for the past two or three years. <laughs> It's not because we went to the same pub together. It's not because we all are neighbours. I mean, I, I live on the north side of Dublin. Most of the lads live on the south side of Dublin. I would never have met them or got to know them or even got to be involved in football with them if it wasn't for the website. Years ago, community was what you had in your village, in your town. But it's not like that anymore. People can travel, people can find out through these, all these things through the internet now. And we can meet up and we can meet with other pe passionate people and move it on. And that's where our communities are stemming from. We used to have like big meetings where people would thrash stuff out. And now we've just become this kind of sound bitten, stay in your house, 
don't talk to your neighbours sort of society. And uh, the internet has an opportunity to kind of change that, to, to improve that and to, to bring us back to where we used to be, which was you know, debating stuff between all of us and finding out what was best for the social good for, for the most people.